Welcome everybody, this is the final reveal of the Mini Art 135th scale European tram car. Now I'll just talk quickly about this particular kit. This particular kit is a very good value kit. You actually get four kits in one. To start off with you actually get the tram, which is a very nice tram. You also get two sets of figures which uh, you can purchase individually and that is the driver conductor with some sitting passengers and also another set of figures which you get are the ones that you can see at the front the old man and the gentleman getting on to the tram also what you get in the kit as well is a vacuum base which as you can see I didn't use with that kit you also get the poles uh, for the electrics and you also get a, a selection of manhole covers, drains, railings and bollards so all in all it's a good value kit and if you're going to if you want to do a tram I would suggest that one is the one you go for because you get a lot more extras in it so that's enough of that bit I'll run through the this diorama and the tram and then I will leave you with photographs because you don't really get the benefit of uh, there's a lot of work gone into this you don't really get the benefit of it until you actually see photographs so we'll start with the tram uh, very went together beautifully no problems at all the only big issues with this particular tram as there's a lot of interior to paint is fixing it all together after you've painted it you know for a fact that when you use the uh, Tamiya glue or anything like that it pulls the paint off but on this one I actually used uh, deluxe materials glue and glaze put the glass in it worked perfectly and also it will actually stick painted parts together nice and tight and that's what I used so there's a little tip for you so that's what I used to actually when I painted the interior to actually fix everything together I've gone through that bit we'll go around and we'll have a look at the diorama uh, I've used and I shall tell you what I've used out the kit used all the railings the seat figures the figures inside the uh, tram as well the sitting ones you can just see the bollards which I used and also if we get around this way I actually use these electric arms I did have to do a bit of scratch building uh, because it, it didn't work out the way I wanted uh, so I had to do uh, a scratch build and make the arms work this particular diorama. Uh, moving on to the back here you can see a, another selection of figures. These are Master Box, these are Women of World War II and to be totally honest with you there's 15 figures on this uh, little diorama and I could have put uh, a few more I think uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting and lively. The base I constructed the base myself it's all the blocks are being cast uh, individually well as a whole if I should say they're, they're individual blocks they've been led individually the curb stones as well they were cast in silicon rubber moulds the drains as well I used uh, cast ones for that as well the backdrop I will go back this way the backdrop, uh, the sh shops, these are uh, cast from silicon moulds again in brick sections uh, which have all been weathered, painted and done to look like brick. The shops are all scratch built from balsa wood and Jens if you're watching I've now spelt the tobacconist the correct way as you suggested. The well, that's, that's about it. The windows are all scratch made, scratch built, shop scratch built. 
it's all been weathered and finished off and I'm happy with it I'm extremely happy with it and I just hope that my sister-in-law uh, uh, who will benefit from this because this is going to my sister-in-law uh, as a birthday present and she really likes this particular uh, layout so that is all I've got to say about this diorama now I will leave you with some pictures I'm not going to put no stupid music over the top of them so you'll probably have to hum over the top over the pictures or do something like that so I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one